Hello and welcome. I'm Nate 42 and in this episode I'll be showing you how to get rid of your heater issues when starting a print. So I hear a lot on the forums that people are having issues with getting their printer up to temperature. Now I have open here the 3D creating print software. You can use whichever one you want. It doesn't have to be this one. Um, but this one is just the one that probably a lot of people are using if they're using this uh, printer. And it's, it's an okay piece of software. Um, even though I can't get my printer working on this PC. Uh, I, I have two PCs. One I use for recording. The other one I was using, which is a Windows 7 laptop for 3D printing and stuff like that. Um, the Windows 7 laptop run the printer flawlessly. It just plugged in and it played. But with my Windows 10 PC, it's proving a bit more difficult. I ran out of time to try and mess around installing the actual drivers on it and stuff like that. So here I am in uh, 3D Crane Print <laughs> software with no actual uh, printer connected. So yeah, it's really not a difficult thing to do, um, but it is very useful nonetheless. Uh, so if you go into config here and then go into manual printer controls, you'll get this little window here. And this allows you to type G codes up here. Now there are a few different G codes that can do a lot of different things. You want to use the one M301P15 with a space in between of between the one and the P. Uh, if you type that in here, and then click send. What it's going to do is it's going to tell the printer that it could be more aggressive, um, getting up to temperature with the voltage. So basically, it just allows the printer to get up to voltage a bit quicker um, than it did previously, and if you were having issues getting to 200 degrees or whatever, it would get up to that temperature a lot quicker. Um, this is one of the fixes that I've used personally, which has actually really helped. Uh, and if you're using uh, like Repetia Host or something like that, you can actually set that into the initiation code and stuff like that. You could probably do that on this as well somehow, but I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not fully sure how you do that. And after seeing some information on a very useful website, which is v3uc, dot com um which i'm actually a member on um and they're, they're very good with the vector free community there um so if you need help with it you can definitely go there and, and speak to people there there's usually someone who can help uh with any issues that you're having there's also another one which i found on here uh which will be very useful to people who are using the raspberry pi m240 uh now this one lets you to this one allows you to set the printer height so if you type that one in z130 point six that allows you to change the bed height to 130.6 so that means that you don't have to unplug your raspberry pi in order to plug it back into your pc load up the 3d crane print software re-go through this and then you know rinse and repeat every time you need to uh recalibrate the print bed or whatever which can be a bit of a pain in the ass um so if you're doing your prints with it you can you can raise it by a millimeter or two millimeters um or point, point 0.1 of a millimeter or point 0.2 of a millimeter. I, I haven't really had to set mine too much, but also I can really appreciate this command because it's going to save me a lot of time in the future if I do need to do that. Just like a slight change, or it's like it's printing slightly too too close to the tip, or maybe I'll try to use like a different adhesive, maybe like a different type of tape or something like that. I'm like, okay, maybe it's a little bit too close to that tape. This one will just help you move it without having to faff about and, and connect it all back into the computer, unplug your printer, all that kind of stuff. Very useful. And that can be done from inside of the Octoprint software uh, in, in the G code section. There's some other things on here about the hood switch. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but the hood switch is actually plugged in on the little uh, main board on the left uh, to uh, just above the printer. Uh, you can just unplug the hood switch um, that's all I've done and because it's unplugged it doesn't send or receive any kind of signals which means that you can just lift the hood up and put it down I've had issues with the printer working properly because of that in the in the past so hopefully that can help some issues uh, there is also a load of different uh, commands on the page which um, allow you to use the LED status um, and then also the beeper inside the printer as well um, so like if, if you really wanted to M239 does one short beep. Um, I don't know if that's going to be of use to anyone really, but uh, it's, it's good to know. It's good to know. And maybe if you're programming stuff for the printer, then maybe you can set it up to do that. Or you can make it do that after a print. You can make it beep, um, 
once after the print. I think it does that anyway. But if it doesn't, you can make it do that. Um, and then also, yeah, uh, that that is pretty much it for that. Um, and just so you know, as as well, there is also a really good uh, thing on here for updating your printer. And there is actually a new update out for the printer. So I've not installed it myself yet. Uh, it actually came out on the 12th of June, which was last month, uh, which I'm kind of surprised by. Apparently it uh, adds security, uh, so, sorry, uh, apparently it adds additional safety features to your printer and um, that you should do this before you calibrate your printer. I don't know what that means really. Maybe it will actually fix one of these issues with the print tip. Maybe it will set that, that automatically, the more aggressive temperature movement. I'm not really sure. But it's worth doing the upgrade anyway just in case it does actually help out some of the things that have previously been issues for you anyway so yeah that's about it for this time don't forget to comment and subscribe let me know what you think follow me on twitter that's at nafe 42 don't forget to leave a comment in the section below tell me what you want to see next if you have any other issues with your 3 printer bring them to my attention and i will try and make a video for that thanks for watching